Good day, everyone. Here are several ways you can edit GitHub pages. Let's say you've got a GitHub project set up already and you've already gotten GitHub pages configured for this particular project, like my project here. I can go right to the branch section here and I can go to gh pages and I can access the pages used by GitHub pages right through here. You can see there's an index.html file here. Now, of course, that assumes you've already gotten the GitHub pages set up for this project. That's done through the settings section here. You just click on that and you go a little ways down the page and you'll see the GitHub pages section. This provides extensive information on GitHub pages. As you can see right here, I've already gotten this project set up for GitHub pages, and that's accessible through this front end URL right here. Let's go ahead and click that and close out that last page. And this is the front end for that particular page, or rather, this is that index HTML file that I was just pointing at a moment ago. And you can see that right here if I click on index.html. And of course, right through GitHub, you can edit that page right through this option here, edit this file. It'll take just a moment for it to load in everything it needs for the syntax highlighting. And you can see right here, this is everything composing this particular page right here. There's a play button down at the bottom, for example, and uh, this is that play button's code right here in HTML. I've got inline styles like a true professional. I've got inline styles defining that. So what I can do is make changes to that inline style, uh, change it to font size of four, and I can commit the changes down here. That will push the change right away so that it should be accessible right away. Let's just go ahead and refresh that and see. Yep, there, there we go. So that's a font size of four. That's based on the change that I just made to this page here. So that's one way you can edit GitHub pages right through GitHub itself. Now, for more extensive work on that, uh, what you'll want to do is use a GitHub client. And, and let me close out this window back here in the background. The easiest way I find is just go, to go right through the terminal. That's a true cross-platform way that you can access it through any operating system. And in this case, what I'm going to do is grab the, the project's URL right here and copy that to my clipboard. And I'll type in git clone and paste that in there. And it's cloning that project here. Once that's done, I'll be able to CD into that project like so. And you can see right here, it already recognizes this as the master, the master branch. So in here, let's go ahead and do a listing of that repo. You can see there's no index.html file in this list. So what I want to do is switch over to the gh-pages branch, and that's done through checkout. Checkout gh pages. So git checkout gh-pages, and that does it. And from here, I should be able to see the file system right here. Index.html, you can see is right here. And I can edit that locally here. I'll just use uh, my trusty, whoops, Atom editor to edit that. Okay, it's uh, loading up in the background, so that'll take a moment to get started. And let's see, what I want to do then is uh, let's go ahead and find, here's that, um, that play button code once more. Um, let's go ahead and reset this back to 24 font size. Okay, so I've just saved the changes for that too. And so let's go ahead and let's clear that out. And I'm going to add this file. So what I'm doing now is adding that file back as a change and but using git add dot and then git commit to commit that change. Um, font size, this is, this is a, a message or a comment that you use for the commit. It's not required, but it's helpful. Uh, so font size change, um, here, adjust. So I'm going to do that, press control O in order to save that. And uh, here, I'll press enter for that file name and then press uh, control X to exit out of there. And once that's done, I can just type in git push. That'll push those changes uh, to uh, that repository. Of course, I need to enter in my account information. In this case, it's just gonna be this, and I'll type this in here since 
nobody can see my password as I'm typing, hopefully. And let's see, we just pushed those changes. So uh, the index file should reflect those changes. And in this case, I should be able to refresh this page and see that that button change back to the regular font size. And there it is. So those are uh, two methods you can use to edit GitHub pages, either directly through the repository using the branch option right here. You can also access the gh-pages branch right through here too. You uh, just select that branches option and then you can get to the gh pages right here. Those are two ways you can edit the GitHub pages, uh, either directly through GitHub or through your command line. And I'm hoping to push out a video for editing this all through Cloud9. Cloud9 is an online editor that you can use to edit your GitHub pages with a preview option as well. So it's really helpful. Uh, hopefully, I'll get that out soon. If you have any questions about any of this, feel free to ask. Uh, hope you have a great day. Take care.